Hey folks, welcome back. And today we're going to work a little bit on our profile.js. And we're going to start off by adding text input to our React Native package. So we just do that first, and then we're going to add some more things from Native Base, which is H3, Picker, and List Item, and also Checkbox. So that's pretty standard. We're going to add import star as app from component app and we're going to import a config from services config so all pretty standard so far and pretty simple we're going to import default image from this assets folder uh, which is pretty much a png of some image of your profile picture of a default profile picture and lastly, we're going to import styles from uh, dot dot styles. Uh, you can see that I got rid of this React here because we don't need React dot component. It's just component now. And in our constructor, we're going to replace the whole thing. So let's go ahead and do var user equals props dot user dot user. And because we're using Redux, that is why we're doing props dot user dot user. When you look at the tree you'll see a uh, user.user. .user. And we're gonna take the user goals and we're gonna split them up. And we're gonna set some states here. Uh, is ready is equal to false. And then we're gonna add in gender and goals. And we're gonna make sure, this is why we split up user goals. Um, because we want to we want to see if the if for example social performance competition training was included in that array so that will give us a boolean value we're going to add in body type ethnic drinker um, smoker and relationship status and that will pretty much help us set um, set the default values in our form on our profile screen. And notice that these three goals, they're actually gonna be checkboxes, which is why we need to get the Boolean values. I have a little bit of a red eye on my left eye. I don't, I don't know if it's an infection or something, but it's been itching and watering the entire like two for two days. Um, anyways. We're gonna get rid of component did mount and component update, so they're gone now, and we're gonna replace that with these on ch on change functions. And I'm not really gonna go over them because they're pretty they're pretty standard, um, or they're pretty simple if you just look at the code here. Basically, whenever we make a change on one of our forms, it will go up here and change the state from the default to whatever you changed it to. With that being said, uh, if we go into the render function, what we had here before was mainly for a web app. Now we're going to change it so that it's more fitting for a mobile app. So we're going to take document location hostname. Those that kind of syntax is, is something that we don't need. We're going to get rid, rid, rid of that. So Let's change that to config environment app env. And if that is equal to staging, then we're going to make CloudFront URL equal to config.cloudfront staging. And remember, config is something that we imported. So sooner or later, we're going to add a variable in it called CloudFront staging. Similarly, we're going to do the same for production config environment app env equals production. Um, we're going to change the cloudfront.cloudfrontprod to config.cloudfrontprod. And similarly, in the else, we're going to just change that to config.cloudfrontdev. Now, take a look here. We don't, we're not using divs in a mobile app, so this is something that has to change. So we're going to change that to image source URI. And we're going to use the CloudFront URL that we set up here. And we're going to use that as a base. And this user, user, photo, match, that's going to be pretty much the, the, the end 
of the user's URL to their profile picture because their profile picture is uploaded to S3. So that's going to be, so if my CloudFront, the CloudFront URL is something like uh, some dh9.cloudfront.com or something slash and then user profile slash one, that's the image. So that user profile slash one, that's gonna be what the user dot user photo is gonna, gonna be. So you wanna do that um, for, well, we're not gonna, we're just gonna do that in this if statement. In the else statement, we're gonna use the default image that we imported, um, which I, I will give you as, as long as you have signed up for our mailing list because it will be on that mailing list. And lastly, we're gonna get rid of what we have in that uh, return and we're gonna change it to something like this. So it might be a lot, uh, which is so important to actually join our mailing list because instead of typing it out, you could just go into our drive and grab the code. So I'm not gonna go over this, it's pretty standard as well. Um, just, look, just looking at this, going over quickly. It would be, we use H3 for the header. Um, we use this item picker as a drop down. So you can see that there's several picker options like for gender, for body type, for ethnicity. Um, and these are the values that you could they could pick from in the picker item. And look, looking at this on value change, you can see that we have this function on ethnic change dot bind this so that whenever this changes, it'll run that on ethnic change function to change whatever the state of that of that value is. So we have a bunch of these pickers. Um, you could see here that the, these list item values are what we have for our goals. Um, and I don't think we've set that yet, but we will set them at some point because we have all these dots state performance. Um, and these dot like for dot state training, dot state competition, those are the Boolean values that are set um, in, in the beginning here. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, it's a full change of what we have in the profile file. So I'm going to leave you here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you already haven't already. Join our Facebook group and join our mailing list in order to get these files. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take care.